Welcome to Subramani. Uh, if you are an investor or even an investment advisor, certain things uh, in the market makes you wonder why this is happening. For example, uh, it's a very common American uh, saying or it's common even in India saying it's not rocket science, right? Or saying if you can put a man on moon, uh, if you can replace a heart completely, if you can do a liver transplant and kidney transplant, uh, teaching everybody personal finance should not be a problem, right? Especially today with technology available, it should be possible to make uh, everybody financially literate, right? Wrong. It is not so easy, right? So everybody who claims to be a financial uh, teacher or a financial coach or a financial guru has something to sell, right? So they could have be they could be selling courses, they could be selling mutual funds, they could be selling their own small case, uh, or they could be selling uh, time and space, right? So I could come and tell you why you should take a vacation and you should use uh, Indigo Airlines and why you should uh, use Mahindra Holiday Resorts. Uh, what have you, right? Uh, so uh, here I have plugged for Indigo, I have plugged for uh, Mahindra Holiday Resort. Why you should save regularly in a Nippon Mutual Fund or an Invesco Mutual Fund or why you should be opening a bank account only with HDFC Bank. Here I have plugged in 5-6 products and you wouldn't even know that these are plugs and these are people have paid me for it. Right now let me clarify, no, they have not paid me for it. But largely you don't even know from where to take content. Is it something being uh, nicely planted? on you or is it something which you should uh, just not bother it doesn't matter when I say you should open a DMAT account in HDFC bank it doesn't mean anything you can open an ICICI bank or Kotak bank or SBA whatever wherever you are comfortable uh, is that the way you should take it so let us look at some things which uh, worry people uh, and uh, why some people have to be miserable uh, investing in uh, equity markets. Here I am talking generally about equity. Well, there are people who invest, people who ask for advice and invest and people who have been lucky enough to find the right advisor. This combination has to happen and it is your duty to understand, it is your job to understand that the most important thing about equity markets is volatility. Uh, for a second, let us assume that there is nothing called volatility in the market. Everybody will get uh, a short return. What will happen? Everybody will want to come into this market and invest and uh, they could have lower expectation, right? So somebody could have an expectation of only 4%, 5% which they are getting in the savings bank account and they may expect only that much. So they may be willing to pay a higher and higher price for it, right? It doesn't happen that way. People come into the equity markets because there will be volatility. So it is important for you to understand that there will be booms, there will be busts, there will be an unexplained 10% fall, an unexplained 20% uh, fall, right? All these things will happen. There can be an unexplained 10% rise, but when the rise happens, nobody wants to know why the prices are going up, right? A company growing at 5% uh, and at, uh, quoting at a PE of 23 uh, is perfectly normal. Oh, oh, no, no, these days it happens that way. There is a replacement cost theory, something like that. So when a market goes up, when the whole market goes up, the Sensex or the Nifty go up, nobody needs or wants an explanation as to why that is happening. But the minute markets come down by 5% or 10%, every, uh, every guy is willing to write an article as to why the market has come down, right? So pick up anything, a market falls 0.5% uh, or 1% or 2% or it's never 2%, right? It is, uh, it's a big number. So one lakh, if the market is, uh, if, let's say the Sensex is at 1 lakh and it falls uh, 2000 points, that's just a 2% per, uh, percent fall. Do you think they will say there is a 2% fall in the market? Unlikely. They are likely to say there is a 2000 point fall in the market and dark, bold, underlined number. So that hits you saying, my God, market has fallen by 2000 points. Because when you enter the market, maybe the index was 20,000. So to you, it is like 2000 from 20,000 is huge, right? Something like that. I am talking of Sensex, not of Nifty. So, these things will happen. Markets are volatile, markets will be volatile and markets, because markets are volatile, somebody who comes into the market and who goes, uh, gets scared and goes away, which means he sells or she sells exactly when the market is down. 
uh, is bound to be miserable. So, the market needs people who are miserable so that the people who know that when the market falls, the only thing to do is to sit tight, uh, they benefit, right? And secondly, uh, you may have heard of people saying, uh, market fell and people panicked. I think both are true. Market fell, so more people sold, so there was more panic. But the first initial sale was created by somebody else and that was not for market falling. Because somebody sold, market fell. Because market fell, somebody else got scared and they sold and therefore the market fell further and the person who sold feels very happy. See, I've sold and then the market has gone down even further, right? So, this is the way they look at it. So, if you can understand volatility, saying there will be volatility because if there is no volatility, there will be no markets, everything will look like a short return. So, you may get 4% a short return in a, say in a bank, bank account and you will get say 6% a short return in an index uh, or in the stock market, then there is no stock market, right? Stock market exists because there are people with different opinion, right? Somebody thinks. Uh, uh, indigo is a good buy, look at the size of the Indian market, how much it is going to grow, right? That kind of stuff. Somebody can say all that is true, but the market is overpriced. I don't think uh, indigo deserves such a price because by the time indigo shareholders start benefiting from the growth, etc., there would be one <coughs> recession or a fall in the Indian market. So, the same share which was available at 800 and then it went to 5000 may suddenly be available at 3500 because the market itself has fallen. So, somebody has to believe that indigo is worth buying at 5000, somebody has to believe indigo is worth selling at uh, 5000, somebody else has to wait at 3500 saying when the prices come down, if at all, uh, on that day only I will buy because that is the price at which I want to buy, right. So, volatility is guaranteed in the market and the in, uh, and in the index because there will always be somebody willing to invest because they want to uh, keep money there for the long run and somebody is withdrawing to paint his house to buy a new house or on death uh, it is being transferred all these things will keep happening in a dynamic world volatility will exist so second portion is of the same thing is Understanding volatility is perhaps the most important thing that you have to do as an investor. Because the minute you understand volatility and you think, ah, this is, this is volatility and I understand it and the market falls 10%, you are not worried as to why the market has fallen 10%. You say, oh, I think this happens uh, 45 times in a year or 50 times in a year. So, this is not something special. God has not chosen you that the day you bought the market fell 10%. No, something like that is, uh, don't think God thinks about you and me. He's got other things to worry about. So, understanding that volatility will happen, there will be a 10% fall, there will be a 10% completely unexpected fall, there will be a 10% rise, there will be a 10% uh, jump and you know why it has happened. Oh, some or somebody gives you the reason, uh, oil prices are down or US is cutting interest rates, may be true, may not be true. There is no way how you can know uh, the market fell 10% out of which 2% is because of US uh, increasing rates, 2% is because of this, 2% is because the industry is doing well or things like that. We are all guessing, we have no clue why that happens. So, when you understand volatility and there is a 10% fall, you don't call up your broker or your advisor and say, why did the market fall 10%? He also has no clue, but he's bound to say something. So, it's say, oh no, Haryana results were good, but people are not sure about Maharashtra. Therefore, politically, you know, still market is not stable. Hello, market is never stable. Market is always volatile. Market, this uh, volatility in the market is guaranteed if you want to be a player. Understanding volatility and managing, when market falls 10% and somebody calls you or you read somewhere that the market fell by 2000 points or 3000 points, whatever be the number, just relax, take a deep breath and see what has really happened because then you will realize, oh, nothing, nothing great has happened and anyway, 10 years later, 15 years later, when I'm trying to sell, I will not even remember this headline, right? So, just go and see my April 2020 headlines. It was all scary, market falls 30%, uh, no stimulus package, nothing is coming, so market fell even further. But by maybe September, October, all that fear was gone and uh, not that the uh, people knew that there was a solution coming, but the market started going up. Market knew something which none of us knew, right? 
so so all these things will happen you have to in uh, navigate through all this while investing and this is all happening to you live when you are investing so understanding volatility understanding volatility will happen is very important for the advisor and for you as an investor because there is no point in calling up your uh, advisor and saying market has fallen 10% what should i do market has fallen 12% what should i do so be clear in what you want to know uh, learn about it understand that volatility is the most important thing to understand in an equity market and therefore learn and understand once you do all that you can become a good investor till then life is a little difficult thank you